Welcome to Data Sports. If you're looking for NRL tips and someone backing the Broncos, even after they lose five games in a row, you've come to the right place. Now, before I get into the tips, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed, commented, liked any of the videos. Just cracked 300 subscribers, so really appreciate the support as Day.Sports grows. Now, in saying that, if you aren't subscribed already at this point, this is your chance. Give the video a like and a follow on the socials. really helps me grow the platform a bit more. Now, round 18, it was far better this time around. Picked up six for eight, so not bad at all. Snagged the Rabbits. Uh, they beat uh, the Eels 32-16. Genius pick came off in the second game, though, with the Titans beating the Sharks 20-16. This one did have me sweating a little bit, though. Sadly, my boys, they couldn't beat Penrith. They lost 14-6. to Absolutely shattered about that one. And Penrith, they are becoming my least favorite team just because we can't seem to get it done against them. Doggies, they beat the Warriors in Golden Point, back-to-back -back Golden Point games, 13-12. to Storm, they touched up the Tigers, 40, was it 42, 40, whatever it was, to 28. Cows, they let me down, though. They went down to Manly, 21-20. to That was just a shocker. Roosters, they pumped the Dragons, 42-12. to We all saw that coming. And the Knights, they got it done against the Big Milk, 16-12. to So overall, things went all right. Tip of the week, it also got up as well. Sadly, it dropped down a heap in value, though, because AJ, he was ruled out in the last minute. But Angus Crichton and Greg Marge, they both crossed the line. So tick, tick for those two. That one went off. And I was well due for one of these. Let's see if we can make it two in a row. Now, before we get into the tips for round 19, uh, be rude not to touch on the team lists and changes for Origin Game 3 as well. I'll put out a vineyard Monday uh, with my actual tips and predictions and get a little bit more in depth with it, but I'll start off with New South Wales. So the only changes here is Bradman best in for Latrell. Well, one of the only changes, sorry, is um, best in for Latrell. He's out with a foot injury. Seems like everyone has either honestly done a Liz Frank or a Hammy this season. Obviously, hope he heals up and he's going to be coming back soon, but purely for state of origin, it is news to my ears. He did so much damage with and without the ball in game two, and his record against us and winning series when he plays against us is just, yeah, next level. It speaks for itself. So there really isn't another player that has the aura and ability that Trell has as well to bring into that side. Bradman Best, he played well last year. Um, he's been going well, obviously, so... If he gets a quick barley trip in prior, he might be unstoppable, but I just don't see that happening, so he should be all good. No doubt, he's a bloody solid player as well, but he just doesn't have the same effect, at least not at this stage. Uh, but even saying that, he's in doubt as far as we're aware, potentially with an injury, so we might end up just seeing Matty Burton play instead. So New South Wales, they also get Mitchie Barnett coming into the side over Ola Kuatu. He's just a bit more all-rounded, I think, as well. He's been playing, obviously, really good footy as well for the Warriors. Um, he's been standing out in that side a lot, considering how hit and miss they've been. As for Queensland, uh, two of the players I spoke about in the video last week, they're in. Xavier Coates, he's injured, and now... Um, uh, Palangi as well, so he's going to be gone. Uh, we do have Cobbo coming in on the wing and the return of Dane Gagai as well. So Cobbo, he brings in some size and some X factor into the team. He's been a proper weapon for Queensland over the last few years, will be a huge threat out wide. As for Gagai, he's got all the experience in the world, been going great in Clubland as well. Does get me a little bit excited if Burton does end up playing because we might get to see round two for him between him and Burton. Um, so we can see a bit of also. So surely Gagai. I would just light him up again if he had to. Bring back the Biff boys. Now, I didn't expect Sewer to get dropped as well. That was a little bit unexpected with Capewell taking the starting spot. Love Capewell, but I just don't think that's the move over Sewer. But especially surprising with no Fafita at all. I wouldn't say he's had the most standout game. Well, he didn't have the most standout game over the weekend, but surely he would just be an absolute monster putting on that Queensland jersey in a decider as well at Suncorp. So, yeah, a bit of an odd one there. The power and ability just to run over blokes is exactly what I think Queensland needs off the bench as well. Adding to the surprise and the selection, though, we do get Kalen Ponga back into the team. So I'm very keen to see how he fits into it all. Um... Because I don't think you can really put him too many other places besides fullback. We've seen, you know, kind of what happens when he plays in the middle when he has played club. So I guess we'll see. He could end up slotting into the 5 8th position um, and just let him run. I guess we'll find out what Billy has planned there. So either way, having him and Walsh in the same team, oh, that's dangerous. So I'll leave the rest of the Origin chat for next week anyway. I'm spewing oh, I did not get tickets. So if anyone's got some spares, do reach out. Um... Anyway, that gets me into the tips and predictions for round 19. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit shorter this week with it being buy rounds, so there's only going to be five games this week. 
I'm just happy that we keep Thursday night footy. So both of Wayne's teams, they go up against each other. We've got Dolphins versus Rabbitohs. I'm taking the Bunnies 1-12 to again. At the time of recording, they're $2.10 underdogs, and I like that a lot. So the Rabbits, they are 1-0 against the Finns, and I think they can definitely make it too. Rabbits have won their last five games, while Finns have only picked up one of those. No troll for the Bunnings is a rough one, um, but the way that White and Walker are playing in the halves, I think they're going to be more than enough to get it done against the Dolphins. They're on a massive roll as well. Their confidence is going to be way up there, and yeah, I think they can get it done. I reckon they're going to be in a high-scoring game. I think it's going to get close. Um, come on, don't fail when the Bunnings though. Friday night, Sharks, they take on the Tigers. I honestly am that close to backing the Tigers in this one, but I'm going to go Sharks 1-12. At home, they've lost three in a row. Surely they cannot lose this. You would think they can get it done. I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet, but they're probably going to be without Nico. I guess at this stage, we know, yeah, he broke his foot and did something else. He's out for some time, actually. I wrote this before that news came out. but um, So he's gone for ages. Tigers, they gave them a touch-up, actually, early in the year as well. So And they put plenty of points on Storm last week. So I feel Tigers definitely have it in them to pull the upset. There is blood in the water when it comes to the Sharks, though, so Tigers could definitely pull a sneaky. If the Sharks lose this, I don't care who they're playing, but I'm not going to be backing them for some time. Then we've got Titans versus Eels. I'm taking the Titans 13+, plus without Mitch Moses. They're just not the same team without him, and fuck, even with him, look how they're going at the moment. So Titans uh, will be feeling it as well after beating the Sharks. Hopefully they've got AJ back. I think they announced, yeah, they don't have him once again written for that. So no AJ yet, but they do get Jaden Campbell back as well, which was surprising. So that's always good. So they've um, they've had two really close games the last two times these teams have played, but I think at home the Titans can get it done. Um, they can make it three on a trot. David as well, not getting picked again in the origin side. I think he's going to go off, picking him to score this week for sure. Um, yeah, it's just all over for the Eels at this point. Yeah, we've got Broncos versus Dragons. It is an absolute must win for the Broncos. My boys, they need a win and they need to win well. So I'll take them 13 plus. It's been a really, really tough watch in the last month and a bit, honestly. But massively improved performance against Penrith last week. I think they've still got a way to go, but it was a lot more positive. Origin stars are out for both teams, though. Broncos, they're losing, um, yeah, well, have lost the last five. They just can't keep taking the losses. The bounce back is well overdue at this point, and it's the week that we're going to get up for sure. So they're one and one in the last two games against the Dragons. We're getting Ricky and Stags back, which is lovely, though. I think Ricky has honestly been one of our best players all season. So, yeah, really glad to be getting him back. It's only a matter of time as well before we snag a win, and our finals hopes really depend on it. Counting down the minutes for us to get Reno back, honestly, at this point. Now, moving on to the last game, we've got Manly versus Knights. I'm leaning towards the Knights, but their record at Brookie is really not the best at all. So I'm going to go with Manly 1-12. Origin Stars, once again, out on both sides. I think Manly have enough strikes still on them to get over the line. The pattern of their win-loss, win-loss is a little bit worrying for me, but I would say the Knights just haven't had the most convincing games over the last few weeks, even though they have been winning. Um, yeah. Like I said, while they've won, they've got some key outs. And without the best in Bradman, they're just not the same team to whip home on a Sunday, are they? Now, that jumps over to my tips of the week. So I'm going to be picking a few more try scorers. I've got Blaze Talagi. Uh, he literally cannot stop scoring, so he's going to get over. I'm going to go with Stags. He's well due, and I think he's going to put in a big shift as well. And then I'm going to go with Jason Saab. He got a Hattie last week, and I think he's going to get back into it again against the Knights. So that's all for this week. Catch you next time, guys, and have a good one.